Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a toad. We begin by sketching the general shape, which is a bit like an arch. Then we mark where the head will go with an oval, the mouth and the eyes, which stick out as one of the main characteristics. At first we draw very lightly and then we increase the pressure. The arm will come down from here in the hand. He will be sitting, comfortably sitting. The other hand and I'll clean up the drawing a little bit with the needed eraser. Let's refine the eye and then we can start giving some texture to the skin, which is a bit rough. But first, let's do the shape of the other eye with the pupil and the iris and the skin that goes over it and clean up the drawing a little bit with the kneaded eraser. I also make some corrections, like the front left leg that goes a little bit wider. The first sketch line was more general and lighter and when we go over it, we make it darker and also we give it more detail, more shapes. And we begin with the shading. Now I'm making the pupil of the eyes black. This is a softer lead than the one I was using originally. The list of materials, as usual, is in the information below the video. With the softer lead, I made the darkest blacks, including some of the toad spots. And I go back to the other mechanical pencil with the harder lead for the rest of the shading. I do it like scribbling, trying to leave a pattern that resembles their rough skin. Something like that. Very good. Excelente. And now let's give more detail to the eye. In the iris, the lighter area, they have several different changes of tone. Something like this. And so that our friend doesn't look so flat, we should increase some of the darkness in the shading, especially on the surfaces that are facing down. And let's also draw the cast shadow the shadow that he's projecting on the ground. Generally, this should be the darkest shadow in your drawing. I love working with these big and soft leads. It is really enjoyable. And as I said, I darken some of the shading to give it more volume. We can pull some lights and it's ready. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.